So now we're going to have this. Okay. You're not on, Brian. Oh, I'm sorry, you're right. I didn't yeah. want to sit here with my computer. Our meeting will begin in just a moment. Thank you very much. It's so funny to see you on the Zoom with your mask. And my mask was up like this, and there was a shadow, and it was like we all it looked like a hoodlum almost with the uh, what should I say? But it looked funny to see us all masked up. Okay. Yeah, no, that's fine. That's fine. Today's the 21st, right? 20th. 20th. My mom's birthday is tomorrow. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, welcome to the City of Campbell Economic Development Subcommittee meeting. Uh, it is uh, today, Wednesday, October 20th. To protect our constituents, city officials, and city staff, and the city, actually, can you hear me? Yeah. Can you, on, on the machine. Is it recording? Oh, I have everything down low, but I hear an echo. You do? Know? Okay. All right. I just wanted to make sure it was recording. I hear Sorry. An echo, so. Uh, okay, where am I? Um, 
to protect our constituents, city officials and city staff and city requests all members of the public follow the guidance of the California Department of Health Services and the County of Santa Clara Health Officers Order to help control the spread of COVID-19. Uh, additional information regarding COVID-19 is available on the city's website at campbellca.gov. This economic subcommittee meeting will be conducted via telecommunications and is compliant with the provisions of the Brown Act and Assembly Bill 361, allowing virtual meeting pro process for local jurisdictions under a declared state of emergency. The following economic subcommittee members are listed uh, to permit them to appear electronically or telephonically uh, at the economic subcommittee meeting at 1 p.m. today. Uh, Mayor Liz Gibbons, Council Member Susan Landry, and City Manager Brian Lovenfall. Members of the public may attend the meeting virtually. The economic subcommittee meeting will be on YouTube. Uh, these members, those members of the public wishing to participate virtually can also do so by clicking the following link that was on the agenda for this meeting. Public comment will also be accepted via email at the CM office at CampbellCA.gov prior to the start of the meeting. Written comments received by 12 p.m. on the day of the meeting will be posted on the website and distributed to the subcommittee before the meeting. If you choose to email your comments, please indicate in the subject line for public comment and indicate the agenda item. And with that, we will call this meeting to order. And I don't need a roll call on this one. And do we have any members of the public? To confirm. Let's see. Yeah. And we're showing only participants, no members of the public. And with that, we will now go to unfinished business, which is a discussion on redefining economic development. And the city manager, Brian Loventhal, will present his ideas. Thank you. Madam Mayor and Councilwoman Landry, uh, last we talked, um, we were talking about appropriate steps to move towards a recommendation uh, to the City Council on um, a couple of different areas within economic development. Uh, first and foremost, um, the work plan and what it is that we uh, were trying to achieve, um, but even bigger picture, uh, from a work plan and, and year to year, what is it we're trying to achieve long-term? And, uh, and we talked about the use of um, expertise services and consultants, and I'm prepared to talk about that today. Uh, and uh, working with our community development director, I've worked through a, a timeline for the, for the long-term uh, plan. And when we talk about that, uh, the de economic development plan, it's a plan that was last really comprehensively reviewed in 2017 and adopted by the council. So although we've had it in place, as this committee knows, it's grown uh, stale. Uh, it's probably lost focus with where we need to go in response to the pandemic uh, and, and the impacts of that uh, with businesses and uh, the vacancies we've seen. Uh, and then uh, layered on top of all of that, we're now embarking upon uh, completion of the general plan and aggressive plan over the next year, not just on housing, uh, but how do the businesses and housing correlate together in, in that climate? What are we trying to achieve um, uh, from a business climate perspective, uh, balanced with everything else from traffic and circulation and impacts on the community? So uh, one of the things uh, where I talked about with, with Rob uh, uh, Eastwood, our community development director, was how economic and the policies that are driving that come uh, in, in some part through the general plan. So the long-term economic development plan is going to be an explicitly tied to some of the things we do in the general plan uh, and will stem from that. But that being recognized, that's a year away from completion. And probably the, the other piece to that puzzle is what are we going to do in the meantime and what is our work plan going to be uh, and what are we going to recommend to the council in that regard? So I kind of see that discussion on, on twofold. What resources are there out there and best practices? And um, we can talk about that. What is the long-term vision for the plan and the kind of outlines and steps for that? We can talk about that. Uh, and then what are we going to do 
in the short term and what's the plan to fill that gaps and what's going to be the recommendation uh, to the council on what we focus on and our effort going forward from from a work plan perspective from a staffing perspective so um, with that um, i can share with the group uh, and if it's helpful i can call up on the screen but since there's not members of the public um, present I'll, I'll share with you good to put on the screen because if people want to watch with this you. afterwards yeah and i can i, I can um uh, post these documents as well. So you can attack them to the meeting. And yeah. Um, you don't have any. Well, let me oh, call. Yeah, the let video. Me. No, I guess not. Okay, never mind. You bear with me. I can call this up here. Just take a second. screen this might be a little bit try to get it big enough that we can see okay here we go There we go. Okay. Okay, so, um, you know, just walk you through this. This is the long term plan this is what we is really going to be tied to um, what we do in our general plan those discussions. And we talk about the general plan and housing and everything else that's related to it. But we lose focus that the, the, a large part of that, uh, uh, in addition to all those other things, is economic development. So we kind of looked at this timeline as I developed this with uh, the community development director, uh, with that in mind of the appropriate steps of where we'll be with the general plan to coincide um, uh, from, from scoping, um, certainly, and we've talked on, on a lot of these topics already, um, scoping, uh, possible consult, uh, uh, consultant acquisition, uh, in, in uh, November, December this year, um, creation of an advisory committee. We've used a citizen committee before, an EDAC committee, but you know we yeah, probably exactly. So we want to revision how we involve the stakeholders and some businesses in that. And and maybe it's not called the EDAC. Maybe it's something <laughs> different for purposes of clarity, just to um, uh, or maybe not. Um, but I think we should have that discussion. Yeah, so we can discuss that now. Fair, fair. I mean, this is the idea is to. Um, it, it, yeah, and then um, kind of talking a little bit about uh, setting where we are now uh, in evaluating the existing conditions, um, much of which we can do um, in advance of that. Uh, and then some strengths, weakness analysis. Uh, and, and then step into the visioning. Um, and that's a right, when we talk about October, December, that's right about the time that we will be completing our general plan and our housing element we'll be submitting for certification. Um, so the policy development, all of that will be in the general plan already and will become um, kind of the basis for some of that stakeholder engagement um, at that stage. And then um, plan development at that, at, at that late stage at that point. Uh, and then adoption as, as quickly as we can get through that process. I have to say I'm very confused, um, but. So confused about the. Okay, so you, you began by saying that we were gonna talk about two things, economic development, um, which is gonna come out of one of the uh, elements in the general plan, mm -hmm. which is separate from what we're talking about. And the second thing you said, which is what are we gonna do between now and then, which is basically a year, year and a half. And we have a position available um, to do economic development for the city. So I don't, I don't see this being either one of those. So let me further clarify. So there's the long-term vision. What is the long-term strategies that we're doing and what is our long? We've used an economic development plan as part of as part of our work work plan and our guidance 
for many years. Now, we know that needs to be redone. To redo that adequately, that's really tied, as you said correctly, to the economic development portion of the general plan and the work that's going into that. That's gonna take some time. What we've also been talking about is, what do we do now? And, yeah. and that's not what this is addressing. Yeah. That's part of the separate discussion of what do we do between now and then. But I thought I'd start with that long-term vision to give you a picture of where we're going long-term because we don't wanna just be looking so far in front of us, we're not looking further down the road and planning for that. So I, I see both of those being a parallel process. Um, and and I, I want the committee to un, e, either uh, change course on that, give comments, and we could re revise that. But that's the long term vision, and I think um, it, it's important to understand that where we're going to try to figure out what the next step is okay. that, that we're going to take okay. in that process. So, so what you've given us, Brian, really is three things, and. Um, we haven't discussed what we're going to do now. That that needs to be talk, talked about. I know that there's the economic development element, and we've agreed in other conversations uh, with the council on the general plan update that the land use will have to be tweaked for economic development once the general plan um, is done. Okay, so to me there. Right now they're independent. So if we go back to, let's say, where we are now, which is, can you, I don't think you can hear me at any time. I'm, I'm I can hear, there's an yeah. echo in yeah. here, so I can hear you. Because I'm muted. I'm on. It's recording. Are you but sure? she's muted. So, the so, it isn't, so it isn't recording. So you need to not be muted. I need not to be muted. Okay. So I don't think anything I've said has come across. Uh, all right, we'll have to do this uh, oh, more thoughtfully. Okay, um, so my comment is, you've described what we need to, um, to do for now, which we all agree we need, and it's about a year, year and a half legitimately of what we're gonna do now. Then we said we have the um, general plan update of which there is an element on economic development. That's also a year and a half out. When that's finished, then we've also said, as I said in other forums, that the economic development um, work will change. The, there'll be some kind of work, reworking of the general plan and that land use map into an economic development plan. There'll be something happening at that point. Okay. So, what you're presenting here, um, I think. Um, it, it, it seems it seems to be a third track, and I think it's more complicated than we, what we need. Um, if I'm following what you're proposing, because what this is saying is yes, clearly we need to update the economic development plan. Clearly, the question is, does that plan need to be updated now? or does it need to be updated at the end of the general plan economic development process? That's where one of my questions is. Um, two, what is really the purpose of economic development? Maybe I'm being redundant or circular here. Last we spoke, we spoke on this, we talked about, about um, talked about, and you've got a note in here, we talked about branding. We talked about under, having somebody come in who can do a data analysis for us, who can describe the kind of businesses we have, where they are, um, the, where the opportunities in the marketplace. So for example, Google's coming into town what are the kinds of businesses that Google is going to be looking for? They're going to be looking for office space. Are they going to be looking for warehouse space? Are they going to be looking for manufacturing space? Google's coming to San Jose. Coming to San Jose. Yeah, it's, it's a Derridon. It's, it's close. <laughs> yeah, it's close. So I mean, that's just thank you. That's just an example of what is there in the marketplace now. What, what is it that we can learn now that is what can fill up our vacancies? 
I mean, so we have a lot of retail vacancies. Where is there in a market analysis of what the businesses are looking for space? The last time we talked a while ago, several meetings ago, um, we talked about the fact that um, health services, Pilates, gyms, exercise places was a big market for what used to be retail spaces. Um, what are other markets? Because um, our goal over the next year and a half would be to figure out how to fill our vacancies, okay. right? And we want to, ideally, we want to fill our vacancies with uh, sales tax generation, if possible. And what's the right balance? So, so we, we talked talk about, about getting data to kind of understand where we are, getting data about what's out there that we could attract, and then looking for some kind of branding to find that attraction. Yeah, and, and what I see is to get a consulting firm on board now to do what you talked about, branding, mm -hmm. they, they can see more market yeah. analysis, data about, about that, that, and where sales tax generators. But then, then as we as go, go through the process, process up, here, up here, they have they input to what the plan, plan is. Okay, that, that, we're we're talking the same thing, and that's that's exactly where I was leading. I think, think we'd be wise and I agree to articulate our goal, short-term goals, because those are also going to lead us to some of this discussion in the long term yeah. as well. But we're and that's not why I want to be... wait a year and a half. No, I'm not suggesting yeah. that. Okay. Um, but what I what I just want to be cognizant of that bigger process because at some point they, they may overlap, they may intersect, they um, uh, may very well. This plan may very well redirect some of the work that's done here yeah. because we have a different plan. So. so, so I want to be mindful that we're having a bigger picture. So, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm still confused. Okay, so we had, the last time we met, yeah. we had talked about bringing in a consulting firm, yes. the big guns, to do the data, the brand, the brand analysis, come up with the, the brand, brand, yes, to figure but out then where, that okay. I'm fine on. Okay, that then could potentially go to the yes, plan. but to me, what's here, partially, partially at least, is what's, what's going to happen after the general plan economic development? Um, no, this happens well, during the same process. This the person days. or firm is going to have input to how we mm. prepare the general plan part. The, 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 if, if we want to do that, that's a fine. It's that's a to me that's a new thought. Oh, I thought yeah. that's always what I thought we would do. I mean, no. the, the, this I, one I, I did not. What I've given you is really the steps to get to the that plan. And there's a lot of steps in between now and the time the general plan is done. Um, as you see, uh, November, December, November, January, January February, March, March June, June um, July through September, culminating with the, the final. final. And, and so you see where we say in step six, visioning and branding, everything that we're talking about. But now. that's a year out. Yeah, we we're talking now. now. Well, that's, 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 that's why I'm trying to engage you with what we're, we're talking about. So that was the purpose I'm of today's discussion. I appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, so, 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 yeah. So, yeah. We're actually getting into what, what I want to discuss because I'm trying to give you something to get into what I want to I appreciate that. Yeah, well, I mean, that's why we're asking the questions. Exactly. So, I was anticipating that by bringing a consultant on board and having them do the data, to me, the data should be available within. Few, a month or two after the contract, um, not giving them three months until June. I'm, I'm saying so. We want to know where we stand as soon as possible. Right. That's that's the starting point. And Brian, well, you mentioned that you had some sense of seeing or who's available to be a consultant. Yeah, I, we, I, I have a whole list here, and I'm not going to share a screen with this personal contact, contact information. Um, but uh, I'm glad to pass this around just okay. for, for the community. Uh, okay, but um, the, the so point. Coming back to this, yes, the point being that at least I think uh, Congress, <laughs> Congress. Councilwoman Landry and I are both thinking that we needed the data as soon as possible. We wanted to get a consultant on board, have the data as soon as possible, 
with um, an analysis of what types of businesses are looking for what types of spaces in Campbell area? Well, and, and, and that's a fair enough question. And frankly, it's it's not uh, hard to execute that. Right, um, yeah, I would uh, think. Uh, we, with our existing sales tax consultant, um, have a presentation uh, to some key staff that's authorized to see that. And we talk about that very thing. Um, uh, so so the, the, the tough piece of that is trying to understand the data that we want to know, understand the data that isn't confidential that can be shared, and and so that we're summarizing the right data for you. And I clearly hear you, and I, I appreciate the comment on the goals because as I as I heard uh, you speaking, uh, you know, uh, and you got to it before I, I had an opportunity to ask. I was going to say, so what is the goal? What are we trying to achieve? And I heard two things. One is how to fill up vacancies, um, and the data is going to drive that discussion. Yeah. And then the second goal was develop a brand to attract that that model or whatever it is you're trying to attract. That, I mean, um, that's, fill those that's sort of my yeah. core expectation of what economic development yeah. should do. Well, and, and, it, and it's ultimately going to tie into the general plan, economic development, land use maps, and other things for opportunities. I clearly and, and, and I appreciate that discussion because what I'm trying to do is get us to the point where we can clearly articulate to the council and the public what is it we're trying to achieve now and how does that tie into what we're trying to possibly achieve later and, and not without not articulating not all that, not without getting tied, right. but, but there's a relationship. There. It's clearly a relationship, but we don't want to do all of this for a year and not have something now. That's, that's what I was suggesting to be. I think we're on the same page here. Okay. Um, yeah. And, 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 and to be able to articulate that to the council because we'll be making a recommendation. And I, we've now hashed this out a little bit. And sort of confusing that. So um, I appreciate that input. Well, that's and, why we wanted to be. Seeing, seeing uh, the notes that I provided on the screen here where we talk about, uh, I'm sharing on the screen well, here. What the, you just said about land me, I need more information to then create land use. Right. And so by doing, we bring them, get them on board now, <laughs> as quickly as possible, to do this, this data, data, to do this evaluation, evaluation to then be able to get a sense of the land use. Yeah. Because if, yeah. if I say we need to move into rocket biz and bring in retail, right. and you're going to say, say plot use is better, right. or plot use is no sales tax, right. X, Y, Z is right. better. Right. Exactly. That generates exactly. the land use Exactly. So to me, when yeah. can we get this guy on person? Yes, this firm. And you start to uh, yeah. when can we bring this? Frankly, probably the most qualified firm would be the firm that we're using for sales tax analysis. We have a firm on staff. That's what we're paying for. So can we talk a little bit about what it is that we want to understand in data so I can okay. have that conversation okay. with them okay. just to sure. just really be specific sure. on what we're trying to achieve sure. Sure. Um, um, and not being difficult. Um, yeah. Because one of the questions I'm asking is, uh, you know, what can they share? And they could obviously paint the broad picture. We can't talk about certain businesses, and but we could talk about business models and business types. Um, so when we talk about data, give me some examples of some of the stuff that would help you inform that. You, you want to know? So I think there are two kinds of data. Okay. Okay. One is the data about the businesses that exist in Campbell, and we can de define that um, a little bit more. And the other is the data about what's in the market for our location. I mean, essential article, for example, about um, some of these server farms, looking for warehouses with server farms. Um, in some ways, it's a great thing for us to do because it doesn't generate traffic in some of the areas where we could have um, potentially build a large warehouse. But it doesn't so, bring in sales tax. Are you interested in understanding and businesses and in Santa Clara County and our neighbors? So that's where the consultant would be best able to describe um, how they would go about identifying the right market to draw into Campbell. Because we don't have a clue. And I don't think it would be fair for us to come up with a, a list I mean, we, I say, do we need more grocery stores? Probably not. Do we need more hamburger places? Probably not. 
do we need well but more? if you looked at the maps from last night yep like campbell village yeah is desolate there's no circles around the yes rest, well, I would rest think or the yes. supermarkets and but anyways yes i agree with you and so uh, to answer to answer brian's question so, so the first, first data, data is what's going on here what do we have in the way of institution um institutions located in what's the city? going on now what's going on right now uh, such as like the school district has their office here um other groups like that whatever they may be what um Professional offices do we have? Doctors, dentists, lawyers, architects, engineers, that kind of thing. What um, and the retail, retail or kind of um, personal services or women's clothing, men's clothing, children. Yeah, that's, um, that's easy. We, 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 we see those breakdowns. What is not here, right? So we have what is now, and then we're going to have this. What could possibly what come? Yeah. Could so, come so here? probably a lot of. Well, you get two pieces. One is you look at the you look at the sales types and the sectors that generate sales tax, and ideally you have some balance across all the sectors so that you have resiliency when you have a downturn. So Precisely, so you we want to get there. For That's instance, we want not to get industrial pay sales tax, but they want if they did business to business. So you have some industrial, and you have some retail, and you have some personal services, services and, and some, some, right. and, 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 and usually you're looking for a balance. Second question is, you need some of those those big bang for your buck. Not every single yeah, it, it, to yeah exactly. You only need one, one server or, or, or one or one uh, Home Depot. Yeah. But so um, when I'm you're 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 close to what I'm trying to articulate here, which is, I I'm not sure you, you, this is a new sales tax firm, so I have no understanding of what sir, what knowledge they have. I can see them providing knowledge of um, business that generates sales tax. I do not understand that they have the capacity to identify all our, our businesses. businesses. Oh, I'm sure they do. I'm sure they do. I, 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 I'm, I'm, just, I'm just saying, because they, they've come to us only to do sales tax analysis. Well, What's the name of the company? We're also using them for property tax analysis. So for that very reason, so we can start analyzing uh, business uh, business issues, business licensing, and things like what, that. Okay, so that's a new service. HBL. Okay, so so I, I I can't speak to whether they're the right group to do it or not, um, or whether you could extend their existing contract to provide this. I I just don't know. I'm a little hesitant to divvy this this stuff up in maybe the right way. I'm 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 thinking that you need a consultant who understands marketplaces branding, branding um, and what's going on in the surrounding area to utilize the data from Campbell. This firm might be capable to provide the data from Campbell, um, assuming they can do all that property analysis you're talking about, but would they be able to identify what the area is, the market area is? Yeah, so one of the things they do, in addition to just, we, we contract with them for sales tax, audits for sales tax analysis, mm -hmm. they would they could provide additional, they'd be great at providing that data. They already have that data. It'd make mm -hmm. perfect yeah. sense for the education. For that. But your question is then are they capable of doing the analysis based on that data? For um, all other and, and, types of non-sales tax. Yeah, so they do they do as part of their consulting economic development action plans, they do community market profiles and stakeholder engagement and education. Okay. In addition to what we're contracting. So they could are they the best at that? I don't know. We, we may go out for a few at that point. Right. And would they but, be able to do brand? Would they be the right people to do branding and recommendations on where we want to well, go? Well, we, we may choose. There, there may be another firm that's better at brand development, for instance. So the question is, do we want do we want to have one group managing it all and getting answering? So you're asking questions. I'm certainly hypothesizing what I think the data should be. If somebody has the responsibility to come up with what the economic growth opportunities are for Campbell, then would they be better off delineating the right data that they need? Uh, 
Yeah, and that's a different model. You'd be looking at bringing in a consultant in to kind of manage this whole process for us, yeah. in essence. Yeah. Um, and, I, and, I'm, yeah. I'm, yeah. Not, I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, so how, how's the contract with this firm? Can we do? So I'm, I'm kind of seeing this as two steps. Maybe as best. I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> I just keep talking. I'm trying to say something. <laughs> something. I'm not I'm not okay. You are allowed to offer us up to $50,000 without going to council. Does that count as an amendment to their contract? No, I, I think I, I'm, I'm perfectly fine, and that's what I was going to suggest. Maybe it's best to have them come in and present to us the data. There's not, not a lot of expense and, and probably time that goes into that. We have a consultant already. Let's understand the data. They presented it to me and it will. And we have just hearing that's going to be helpful to you I'm sure. on a broad level I'm sure. and maybe provide some answers to us on the next steps, whether it's, you know, you know we'll offer an RFQ and someone manage the process or, you know, okay. let's, Maybe that's the next that. best step so, is get that data and we could do that relatively quick. So and I, we think, want to keep this I think bringing them in now to give us a better understanding of where we're at and they, they're doing property tax and sales tax evaluation and then pose these other questions. questions. Basically, basically interview. interview. Here, here's what we're doing so far. We can say, okay, what about this? Can you do this? What you, but to me, an analytical firm may not be the brand, the brand firm, right. Right. But, but they are going out. out. Yeah. And they can then help us either write an RQ or say, you know, we can respond to brand new. So my question about the 50,000 is, do we have capacity either in their contract or within your limit to get them going like come in in two weeks and start this, get this. Yeah, we'd have to get on a schedule for them to come out and make the presentation. So I think we do that. I'm not worried about the contract amount because I don't think that would be anywhere near $50,000 to, to do that. Um, and maybe we want to do that first and then have a, a discussion on those next steps. Because I, um, I, this is a lot of hypotheticals. Right. I, I, having that data is going to be really meaningful to you. I mean, I heard things that I, I've never heard before um, that are new. Um, uh, you know, things about uh, fulfillment centers and right, things like right, that. And right. All those sort of things. What do we not know? Right. I, I right. heard a lot of things that right. I didn't know. Well, um, and here's and so, the other thing in, in writing down no notes what one. All this is great, but how do we get them here? And that's the brand. How, we have all the data. We say we need a, a fulfillment center. How do we get them here? Who's out getting those contacts? Who's yeah, out? In I have this so here. to me, no, not, but I'm just saying, how do you know, like, how do you go to a server from our arm? Arm? We have to have some kind of branding, yeah. uh, yeah. overall yeah. 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 So, so the, so the, the firm, firm that's, that's doing, doing this analysis may not be the firm that does yeah. the outreach. Yeah. So yeah. So yeah. So and they not be the market, the market at all. So you see in the second column here, sort of the firm specialties, um, and so they're different. There are some that specialty are, yeah, you're absolutely right. So what I, I would propose, maybe two different. I would propose that we're throwing all this around. We've had this conversation somewhat before. We have said bring in the big guns, get them going. So my feeling is. The next step is as soon as possible, get them in to make a presentation, whatever, or how much, you know, if that's a thousand dollars or whatever. But give us a better understanding of where we're at and then be able to, to talk about, about what, what they would suggest, suggest on the scope of how to do the projections and what branding would look like. And then, then is that, that in their capability? Or that they can help with an RFQ to then find the branding company. Because I see that totally as two different specialties. Well, and I, I'm agreeing with you. I actually think there's three steps in here, but I'm totally mm -hmm. with you. Um, that um, in order to get moving, yes. I would prefer to have done this six months ago, but we are where we are now. So the solution to getting moving is to take advantage of the existing consultant to get at least a core information. information. The, I'm gonna call it the second of my three phases is to identify what market demand in our area is. 
that, that would be suitable for Campbell. And then the third is what branding I agree. that we yes. do to take that market and put it into us. But, but the second, the second step, step that's a lot of mind 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 yeah. so, so we can sit here and go over and over and over. So to me, get the guy in here, the person, the company, get them in here as soon as possible, get yeah. them to present this data to us, whatever they have, if whatever, if they know what businesses we should be bringing in or what the market will be, anything that they have right now that they can educate us better. So then, then us have have this. So so my, question, my question, question then is, with that. my question then is, um, are we talking about presenting to the council? Do we buy the economic subcommittee? Yeah. Get a quick orientation, make sure they're doing what they need to do, or do we just? I know council has a lot on its plate, so we have to be thoughtful about this. Um, how how would you suggest? So I would like as a subcommittee the first round of education, because I'm not going to be able to sit up on council and make a really good decisions on the fly at a council meeting. Where as the economic subcommittee, we are to go to the council to recommend things. So to me, they come in, we have an informal meeting, they present this data, they kind of tell us where we're at. We talk a little bit about how to move forward. And then go when we present the subcommittee, we, that's the consultants there when we're making this. Here's what we've been doing, here's where we're moving forward to. And then that falls into your tie-in with the general plan and land use. But I would I would say let's start small because we do have a lot going on. Last night we were what to 11 30 or 11 o'clock. And the housing, the general plan, all these things. Redistricting. I mean we're to me, we're yeah. we're filling the council meetings up and if we're getting a lot of complicated topics. This to me is the subcommittees to work out all that little stuff to then bring it to council in a clearer mm -hmm. direct, and then ask for direction from them. Mm -hmm. And recommend based on this quick education. I think it's important you guys probably see the hear the data presentation first to understand it, and then we'll craft something that will yeah, and I think I think um, we're one of the things that we do is we have a lot of the work that we do with Councilwoman Landry that the benefit of having a subcommittee is to filter information and focus information for the council as a whole. Yes. And if we see a presentation, we can critique the presentation and we might get a half hour presentation. We might say, okay, that's great. An executive summary for 10 minutes, can you do this, this, and this? Yes. And that would be a better use of council's time. That's what the subcommittee is about. Okay. Like they, the finance committee reviews the audit they come and say the audit's good. Right. We're evaluating this whole concept right. to say to go to council and say, here's our recommendation right. from the subcommittee. And to me, that that goes through kind of all the things that we've been talking about and gets the ball moving quickly. And that's my thing. We got I was walking through the Oktoberfest and I was shocked how many businesses are empty. I didn't realize, oh, I mean, yes. especially down at this end, yep. I, I was like, holy crap, we're yep. all the downtown businesses. Yep. And the whole thing with these festivals, no one's walking on the sidewalk. No they, one's back to going to the river They never and the, do. The, 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 the flea market, market or the farmer's market, market is the same, same thing. People yeah. complain. I lose business and Sunday is a busy day for me. Yeah, yeah I, that's why it's important to understand the data and understand the sex things are doing well on the job. Um, doing well. For instance, I was shocked to understand that jewelry is doing the pandemic. Yeah, yeah. Diamonds, everyone's buying diamonds. Jewelry <laughs> stores are going off the roof. So we're getting great sales tax from jewelry stores during the pandemic when all the pop shops are So there's good and bad on both sides. And it's interesting to hear that. Yeah. That's why I, I think, think it's important. important. Uh, uh, so so what, what, what can we learn now? now? We could probably do that quicker than, than anything is do the education piece. So. So well, I'm going to, I want to uh, talk a little bit about the branding aspect of what, what to me the goal would be is what does Campbell, what, what image do we portray as Campbell when it comes from a business perspective? Mm -hmm. 
we are not going to bring in Costco mm -hmm. and or um, the e or uh, Amazon and have gigantic fulfillment centers because we don't have the traffic. They'd end up at Dell or, or McGlincy. Do we even have the capacity? I don't think we do. And so what are our, and then we, I, I mentioned this before, to be kind of an incubator. We want the smaller businesses that are growing to then bring in kind of the new technology, the new, maybe new businesses, you know, server farms, and that's great. Little traffic, you need space. You need power, you need space. So if, if that's where I'm thinking right now, and this company comes in on this initial evaluation and says, no, that's never viable, that's not, or yeah, wow, okay, then here's then that their plan then becomes how do we get there? So I'm, I'm kind of thinking, okay, here, but I'm back here going, I don't know if this is even going to work. And I'm thinking along the same lines. I think actually Campbell right now is pretty darn successful as an incubator. We have more incubating businesses in our city than anybody has a clue. They're well, everywhere. We don't know the clue. They're everywhere. I'm at a conference down in Long Beach and I find out this guy here yeah. has these the equivalent of a flare, yeah, and he's selling them, and he's got, patent. and I'm like, I'm like, I never heard of you. Yeah. And then we have another company on Dell who can be in the Tesla. So yeah. Right. Right. And it's, and it's like, like okay. okay. Wow, wow, that's great. great. And then one of the things, things with these big corporations is culture, culture. and then and everybody like. like my nephew wanted to be by Stanford because of the culture of right. the businesses around there. Well, right. we. Have Dell is this culture location, and five battery companies come in, or five solar companies, and then we have this. So, so I'll give you another example um, for the um, new EV car companies that are coming out. They need people to build their dashboards. They need people to build their seats. They need people to provide their carpeting. They need people to provide their computers. These are the kind of ancillary businesses. Yep. And that's what I'm, I'm looking for. Um, I think we are an incubator community because of the character and size and cost of facilities. We've got a bunch of uh, places on Dell, Dell or McGlincy or some of the office, office buildings that, that are relatively rented. small spaces that can be rented at a modest amount. You know, um, the, we've done we've really done well, really, really well, well with that. that. Um, I'm looking for what's the next thing because to me that pervades all business types. Um, and uh, somebody might be doing a heart panel, somebody else might yep. be doing something, something else, you know. Um, so, so innovation clearly, and we don't want to do anything in the economic land use process that diminishes what makes this a good place to be an incubator. That's well, see, really, see you tie, yeah. it really is going to come down to the right doing our general plan. Well, right. and, and the company, what we may bring in a company that's working on EV, they do not generate sales tax, but, but so. they bring in the ancillary. We need a restaurant in Dell. Exactly. We need, exactly. A, uh, we need a, 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 a work, at, whatever yeah. we need as the ancillary right. is where we're, so we're going to get increased profit out of renovating yeah. the building and the building. But then we're going to get the sales tax and the jobs that generate these for uh, uh, uses like restaurants here and right. dentists and doctors exactly right and, and that's why it's important uh, it was important to us to actually analyze property tax along with sales tax because yes. some of what you see is a balance like industrial may give you more in property tax and sales tax unless there's a business to business but they may be a business to business industrial use. So it's important to understand how those contribute to both pools for property tax and sales tax. As a side note, what I found interesting was the businesses around Google and Facebook complained because Facebook served lunch. Yeah. Yeah. Those businesses were out not getting lunch. And I think it was Mountain View that basically said you can't serve free lunch anymore. Yeah. You, have to, you have to make them pay. Hey. Because then they have the option sure, to go out. So to me, that's like, yeah. well, bring this company and help start answering some of our questions or educate us, give us the knowledge yeah. to then proceed as a committee. Yeah, that's fair. Okay. And, and you'll probably also hear about the unsecured 
share tax when you think about businesses that lose the site in that too. Not just, yeah, not just, just sales, point. not just sales tax or not just property tax, but for instance, a large business moves into a large commercial building here, maybe one of the largest ones in Campbell, and they don't own the building. So that new business isn't paying any sales tax because they're, they're not doing retail. They're not paying any property tax, but they have a ton of equipment in their building that they're paying unsecured property tax on. Like the server farm. Like the server farms. Okay. It's another, another so tax. If you buy equipment in your business, that equipment gets taxed unsecured. Oh, I had that one. I had in Barbara so, Edge. It's like, so, forgot about that. I had so computers, servers, and, if okay. you have a large technology company, maybe you don't own the building, but that, that all those servers in that building. I get it now. So there's an element to that. that well, that's why I'm and from some very large money. employers. 20 years ago, I refreshed <laughs> my memory. The county sent me a form every year and you had a list of equipment. And then you have to pay another tax. So right we'll, 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 let, me, let me coordinate with our finance director um, uh, and our community, more finance um, well, to get each deal. Will, Will has been, Will the, was the coordinator with the sales tax consultant. So let me let me uh, have him make a contact for me um, so we can reach out. Um, and um, I'll follow up with the committee um, on a schedule for when we can get together. Right. So, I, and I, I, you brought up health, and I, it, it triggered um, a thought, which is um, we, we have the library that not only took over an old warehouse, but it brought, took over the um, Veterans of Foreign Water building. And they're now building a fire. And now we have the new fire department. None of these pay taxes. And we have the massive growth of um, Kaiser yeah. and they don't pay taxes. So we're starting to become, I'm gonna call it an institutional hub, which is not necessarily good. Financially not. Financially not good. And yeah. those businesses don't necessarily bring in the service of precisely the lunch or using the cleaner. Sure. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So that's the kind of balance that I think our economic um, element and our land use plan mm -hmm. is going to say no more institutional. I'm, I'm just being there right. because no, we've it. absorbed a great deal. Yeah. So I'm just making that as an observation. Um, so yeah, at least we'll get started. And I would support um, the subcommittee recommendation. You wanna say recommendation? to the city manager and he'll go for it. You want to summarize? Yeah, so uh, the recommendation is that the existing firm HDL come in and make a presentation to the subcommittee of where we're at right now. So we know sales tax, property tax, if they have any market analysis or any other data that gives us the education and information to then for us to move forward into creating the plan which then whether HDL does it or helps write our cue to then do the branding. Right, and we're looking at a three-part process, data, um, internal, data, external, market, market right. potential, and the third is branding. Those yep. are the three big picture yes. items. Yep. And the, the culmination would be a new economic development plan that goes into the, that goes plan. Into the general plan or somehow complements fits in we don't know quite how but we don't want to wait to a year year and a half exactly. so, on it now okay and just to clarify when you say internal external you're talking about internal to the city or external to the, the city first Others. the first data is the information of what's going on in our Understood. city for the areas um, mm -hmm. of the taxes mm -hmm. and the, all of mm -hmm. that the second uh, step, whether it's this firm or someone else, is to understand what the marketplace needs and is looking for and how that market would be viable for Campbell. And then what branding do we need to do to take advantage of that marketing and get them into Campbell? Right. And your second step is not only the market now, but where do we see it heading? Yeah, audience? absolutely. 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 You know, and like lum the lumber store, we get sales tax. From the lumber store. Yes. Oh yeah. Absolutely. We get a lot yeah. of sales tax from yeah. the lumber store. We get store. a lot from we the get, lumber. We get it from the from the garden truck. I know. 
the and the garden company. shop, well, I think you told me that they could potentially sell and build housing, and then we're losing the revenue. Yes. And that goes now to our housing element. Yes. Yes. We want to zone that parcel housing. Yes. No, yeah. we want, like Home Depot. Exactly. We're not getting rid but of until Home we Depot. Have, yeah, until we have, don't yeah. have this data and where it's located, we don't know. Well, and we're going to be out of step with this housing element depending on some of one of these parcels. Is this is the garden center parcel a viable housing? I would say right now, no. I can't make that well, decision. And, that, and that's why I kind of started this discussion of what's what are we doing long term and not lose sight of that because and, and be able to clearly articulate what we're doing short term. And that's to understand the market, to understand our opportunities as I hear, to start working on branding and start filling these vacancies. Yep. That's our intro goal. And then that long-term goal is going to feed into all of those yes, things. Right, we're all the same thing. Right, right. Right. Yeah. I appreciate we, that. I, I would just give you there are two examples of businesses whose land was zoned for housing, but was problematic with implementation. One was we had a building supply service store on um, railway. It was a major, major, major sales tax generator for the city when that property got bought and developed into the housing, we lost that. I mean, it was one of our top, top. And the same thing is true on Salmar. There were a couple of businesses and there are a couple of businesses that are major sales tax generators. So look what we got from Fry's when they were active. I and mean, when Fry's was a big deal, we went in with co crowd and we knew we were great. And now there's nothing there. Well, and that's why you speak to having that balance so that when you lose something like that, your other sectors are doing well when one falls and you still have that sales tax balance, you're not dropping. Well, and the fries and staples are already looking at changing and having housing. Right. But we, so we need sales tax generating our, sites. our budget. We subsidize housing. I tell people this all the time. You get all these services, the portion of property tax does not offset we need the balance between yeah. housing and then yeah. so this also, also goes into our housing arm. All right. Okay. So with that, uh, uh, is that, that. Yep. comfortable yep. with where we're going yep. want to go? Yep. And then we'll look forward to having a meeting in the next two, three weeks. Yeah, we'll, we'll get them here as soon as we can. I'll That's I'll follow up with you as soon as we want to okay. make an outreach this week. Yeah, to we'd like it so. not to go beyond four weeks. Well, we'll hopefully it's way quicker than that. So it's just a matter yeah. of getting on their schedule. Okay. We'll reach out to them. We're right. okay. contact them. So. All right. Okay, so, so I thank you. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to close out the meeting yeah. and look forward to scheduling our next meeting, Great. and thank it will you. be noticed. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Good discussion. Great.